I'm Blake. In this video, I'll demonstrate the Unify Setup Wizard and show you how to adopt Unify devices to the controller for centralized management. To get started, head to the Ubiquiti Downloads page to freely download the latest Unify controller software. Once downloaded, proceed to install it on your computer. For this demonstration, my controller is running on the same local area network as my Unify device. This will be a layer 2 adoption. In this video, my Unify switch locally connects my access point to my Unify security gateway, which runs a DHCP server and therefore assigns a local IP. Discovery occurs by default due to broadcast traffic. Layer 3 adoption is also supported via SSH, the Ubiquity Discovery tool, and more. When running the controller software for the first time, you'll quickly configure your controller and wireless networks via the Unify Setup Wizard. First, enter your country and time zone settings. Next, select any discovered Unify devices that you want to adopt and manage in your Unify controller. Next, configure your wireless network by assigning an SSID and assign a security key of at least 8 characters in length. As an option, you can also create a guest network. Create an admin account to log into your Unify controller and manage your enterprise network. Finally, enter your Ubiquity account credentials to enable cloud access. Once finished, your controller will adopt any Unify devices selected at the time of the setup wizard, then push configuration settings via device provisioning. Following adoption, you can and should upgrade the firmware to the latest available. As long as your Unify device appears connected, you can queue or push instant configuration changes via the central controller. Thank you for watching this video.